It's uh, 1.45 on Tuesday, September 19th. There was a enormous earthquake in Mexico City. It's the second one that happened um, in about two weeks. I wasn't in the city for the first one, but Mexico City was okay. This time, Mexico City is not okay. Uh, near our house, we've seen one building fall. There's smoke in the horizon, meaning more buildings fell. The earthquake was about 20 minutes ago, and the most messed up thing about everything is that today, September 19th, is when the 1985 earthquake happened, killing thousands of people in the city. It's exactly the same day. And what's even more messed up is this morning, and every September 19th, they have a mock, a test of the, of the alarms. Street corners have alarms to warn people for earthquakes, and this morning they did a test. And this afternoon they sounded it again. It wasn't a test, it was an actual earthquake. I don't know what happened here today. I know that some people probably died today. And of all the days for this to happen, the same day, the anniversary of the deadly earthquake in 85, and the day they did a test, meaning most people probably thought it was a continuation of the test, and didn't leave their houses. Fucking terrible. Marianella's on her phone, talking to her dad and her brother. Um, my phone doesn't have cell service right now, we're a different provider, but all I can see is the smoke rising up. From different corners of the city, helicopters flying everywhere. And I can see that a building fell just down the street. I've never been in an earthquake before. Es más fuerte de de uno de dos semanas pasado. Ajá. Más fuerte. Más fuerte. Más fuerte. All right. Are your dad and brother okay? My dad was in the office. That's good. And my brother in the school. They're okay. I have to talk to my auntie. Should we go for a walk? How do you feel? I'm scared. I've never felt that before, babe. I was, it was like you're being, it was like you were drunk or something, trying to walk. I was, I was on a Skype call and Marinella was in the, in the house taking photos and all of a sudden the alarm went off and she screamed and I, I was like, why are you screaming? I'm on a Skype call, it's important. And then I realized what was happening and I just ran out of the Skype call and we ran down the stairs and the whole building was shaking so hard. I've never felt that before. The problem here is like the dangerous part is like it was like this first. Did you feel it? Did you feel it? I didn't. I I didn't know what's happening. I've never felt an earthquake before. It was like tight. There you can see the smoke. Look how much my hands are shaking. I can't even hold the camera straight. <sighs> Buildings fell today. Fuck. We we're just talking to talking to someone on the street, and they said at least just in our area, four buildings have fallen. And these buildings, I'm assuming, were all once damaged by the 85 earthquake because, oh man, my heart. In 85, there was a big one, and since then, they've been building a lot of and new the buildings. Exactly the same day. Exactly the same day. Since 85, they've been building buildings a lot more um, structurally sound with safety, safety features. But a lot of the ones, the old ones, were damaged in 85, and they were just ready to fall. Oh my God, this building. So this here, stuff fell off the top, smashing the back window of this car. And the big one, the big crash is up here. Oh my God, look, that was on top of a building before. The entire building's fallen over. Oh my God. Traffic is all backed up. This is one of the main highways in Mexico City. It's called Viaducto. This building on the other side looks like it's fallen right on the highway. Oh my god. This is terrible. What do you even do when something like this happens? Oh, there's a, look at this taxi. Completely crushed. There's a dog up there. I'm assuming the dog is searching for humans. Terrible.
Absolutely terrible. This building fell on um, Viaducto and Torreon in Roma Sur. I was thinking we could come help move, but the police have it all sectioned off and they've got a dog and a um, body search expert team there to uh, sniff for bodies. I hope everyone got out of the building. But I, I, can't, I can't handle the fact that of all the days for this to happen, it was the day that people wouldn't pay attention because there was a test run in the morning. It's like having a fire after a fire drill. No one's going to pay attention. How much do you pay attention to fire drills in school? You didn't. Imagine having a fire the same day of a fire drill. It's fucked up. Everyone's still out in the streets. It's common for there to be aftershocks the same day, so we're going to stay outside for most of today. It was only about 40 seconds, the, the earthquake. 40 seconds of intense shaking. Everything shaking. And if you're not fast, or you're on the fifth floor or sixth floor, we're, we live on the third floor of our apartment building and we just got outside as it finished. If you were on, on the fourth, fifth, sixth, higher floor, there's no way. And especially when you're not taking it as seriously because you're wondering if it's a second test. Those extra few seconds are very important. Someone told me, someone just called Mary Ellen and said buildings are still falling around the city. And you can see buildings like this. New ones completely smashed. The foundation is broken. This is terrible. Another building look. All of the glass shattered. Glass all over the streets. Oh my God. There's men telling people to stay away from buildings. There's another one that's been damaged, heavily damaged. Look, cracks all up the side. The city's been destroyed. It's chaos. There's just people all over the streets. No one really knows what to do. I think we're all afraid about aftershocks. Broken, broken glass everywhere. Look, another smashed window. Another building completely cracked up the entire, look all the way to the top. Look, all the way up to the top. Marinella has cell service and we're hearing that more and more buildings have fallen. Okay. So many buildings have fallen. I've never been involved in anything like this before in my life. We're just arriving to the main street, one of the main streets that goes north-south in Mexico City is called Insurgentes and it's just a steady stream of people. We're all we're all walking. I don't exactly know where. But no one really knows what to do. The question is like at what point do you go inside? Because an aftershock can happen at any time. We're all waiting, but at some point we're all gonna have to go back inside. What if there's another aftershock? On uh, Calle San Luis Potosí, near Insurgentes in Roma, there's another building that has almost completely fallen. A very large building. <laughs> Insurgentes 300 is a giant abandoned apartment building that was abandoned, which was uh, damaged in '85. It's still standing, which is good. We're in the middle of downtown. Uh, the foundation that was cracked in '85. But very happy that stayed standing. We're getting bits and pieces of information from Marinello's friends and family, and we've heard that this earthquake was only 75 miles or kilometers away. Anyway, much, much, much closer less than 100 kilometers away from Mexico City. The one that hit two weeks ago was off the coast of Oaxaca. Oaxaca is a Mexican state that's from very, very far away, probably a thousand kilometers or more. 
and it was out in the ocean. So this one is right beside Mexico City. It's about three hours after the aftershock. We're back to one of the buildings that have, has fallen next to our house. We were just talking and when it happened, we, we, were, we were on the third story. We ran down as fast as we could and we just made it when the earthquake stopped and literally we saw the rubble, like we saw the, 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 the powder, the dust of this building just rising in the air. I don't know how people would make it out. Luckily it's in the middle of the day and a lot of people will probably be at work, but there is maybe 200 people here now trying to move the rubble. Before this big sign was still standing and now I don't know if it's fallen over or if they've knocked it over. Seaboard raising their fists in the air and it's to be silent because if everyone's screaming around where the building's fallen, they can't hear what's happening inside the building like if someone's screaming inside the building. But they're making progress, they're getting through the thick ceilings that have made walls on top. I think they've got somebody out. Today was a bad day in Mexico City. We are now walking to Marinella's father's place to make sure he's okay and to relax a little bit. But um, our thoughts and prayers go with everybody here um, who may, hopefully not, but might have been inside some of the buildings we saw fall. I don't know why the universe timed today being the day, but um, yeah, it came very unexpected in this city. See you later, guys.